What's good, YouTube? Today I want to touch on a subject that I'm going to go against the grain on, and I do this a little bit timidly because I know I'm going to get some different kinds of feedback from you guys. But remember, this is a discussion, and it's of my opinion that we actually don't need a ban list right now. I think we should wait until after about March 20th when the weekend wraps up that has two YCSs and the UDS all in one day before we start considering banless season. And here's why. I know it's been over six months. I know we've waited so long, but we've had so many actual changes in the game throughout the past six months and so many different formats within just six months that I don't think it's time for one. Uh, if we hurt Zoo, I wouldn't hurt the Zoo engine itself. It hasn't been out long enough. I would hit Invoker. And uh, a lot of people are like, well, just hit Terra Top. Well, that person that gets to Terra Top first still has a huge unfair advantage and a huge starter. So I think just hitting Invoker takes away the power of Terra Top. And a lot of people have agreed and disagreed with that as well. But my point here is more so, we've had so much change. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about here when we go through... Uh, Sam has made a video here, Team Samurai X1, where's the Yu-Gi-Oh 2017 TCG ban list? And I'm going to talk about one point that Sam makes that I kind of agree with, but I also disagree with. Uh, Mega Capital G, where's my damn ban list, Konami? Uh, Phoenix Flare X uh, here. It's been six months with no ban list news. Remember when we used to get ban list? I do. Mega, or uh, your Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Uh, where is the 2017 Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list? And this was what, actually one of the older videos. He was one of the first to do this, February 3rd. But if we look through, this is reverberating. It's uh, February 24th, February 28th, also February 28th. Uh, a lot of people voicing this right now. And then, uh, you know, Team Innovation today. Konami and the poorly handled Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG ban list. I actually have to completely disagree with that as well. Sorry, Chris. I'm going to go into my points, though. And this is a discussion topic. So, my opinion of the ban list is that there's been so much change that Konami's actually been using the game to check itself. Now, let's go through the past six months and what's happened. I've actually got a list here. I usually don't do this. I usually like pause and video edit this part, but let me read off my list. Uh, first, we had the introduction of the ABC Structure Deck after a format that had 30 decks topping. Even with the ABC Structure Deck introduced, we still had infinite different decks topping. Over 30, I believe, again during this format. And then the new set was released of Invasion of Vengeance, where this is after Tittle, uh, the Dark Illusions. Uh, we have Invasion of Vengeance putting Metal Foes back on top, but still even then, ABC wins an event before that. And then Paleozoic comes up through the ranks too, showing its dominance when a lot of people didn't see it coming. I had posted in my top 10 at number 5, I should have put it higher, but even then, a lot of people told me it shouldn't be on there. So, we keep going through all these changes. And then, we have the DDD structure, and things are different for a few weeks. And then, finally, we have Raging Tempest come out. And guess what? Raging Tempest changes it all to where we have Zeus taking over and it's finally going linear. Remember how we had the emergency forbidden and limited list and how many people hated that we only got one event with full power pendulums and it was in Atlanta? So a lot of people didn't even get to play with their deck that they went out and bought. Now we have a chance here where Seattle has happened. And now Atlanta's happening with a new set again coming out in Fusion Enforcer. So again, the game changes the Eidolon and slash Invoked in TCG, comes out and changes the game a bit. And it's still decently diverse. Infernoids are topping. Yes, Zoo's in a lot of things, but it's still different kinds of decks with Zoo. Zoo is an engine and it is also a deck. It's both. It's a square and a rectangle. Like a, a square is a rectangle, a rectangle is not a square. Zoo is an engine, but it is also its deck. Uh... Here's my thing. Sam says that he thinks they need a set date again. And I think a set date limits what they're doing. While it gives people a lot more comfort, they're like, I can sell off my deck now and be ready. The ban list will hit and I'll reinvest. Uh, that's the secondary market, though. And it's Konami's less concern on that point. But I see the point there. And I, I do agree that it would be nice for the players to have that. But I think it restricts the form of the game where Konami, like they said can put a ban list out any time in order to help the game out as needed. And right now, we've had so much change in a row, in a row, in a row, in a row. That's almost a change a month that I just listed off. The only point I could have seen a ban list is where Metal Foes, you know, took two events. It took uh, Bochum and it took Sydney. And now Metal Foes have kind of been phased out to where they're still top 32-ing with Zoo, but not winning. And uh, I gotta say, like... 
Pot of Desires went from the most used card to one of the least used cards as well. It's it's definitely taking care of itself as a game. And I get it's a relatable topic. I get this is a topic that people can talk about. And people love banlist discussions and what needs to be hit and what needs to happen. But I don't think it needs to happen until it get, Zoo gets a couple more events at full power. And then we can hit like the other cards and see how Zoo does. Like hit Invoker. Uh, we can be hitting cards like that. Like uh, he has level of it. Like what's Level Eater doing in the TCG? What, what events is it topping right now? It's a problematic card in its own, but it's not doing much. But as you see, like it's, it's a lot of complaining towards it. And I don't think it's poorly handled. Just because they're not announcing the date the game is checking itself off over and over again and i i do get the points a lot of people want to see change and there are there's there's things like norden and instant fusion is now a superior extender and they've even made another ca card that goes with uh norden because it's able to put zoo even further into the game i i get that like people want things like kieran hit too but kieran's been checked in itself you have Zodiac Whiptail now that banishes Kieran after Kieran's been forced from the game for pretty much good because no one's playing ways to bring it back. I, I really, really think that Konami's done a great job at helping the game check itself. I, I know a lot of you guys don't like Zodiacs. You're against Zodiacs, and it's it's only had that one event, but uh, people don't like to feel like they're being forced to play something, and Zodiac generates so much advantage off one card. But I say... Every single deck should have a few more events. Remember how many events Necroz had? And how many events, like, that people were saying they hated Necroz, they don't want to play Necroz, but they could still play other things and find ways around it. Well, you know, people still can play other things. If we look at the regional results, we have Cyber Dragons topping our regional. And if we look at the YCS results, we have that 60-card BA topping the YCS, which playing 60 cards naturally also check the grass decks. You have innovation within here. You have kind of things happening that are really really awesome and uh again you're looking at the bigger picture and seeing that zoos are dominating but again it's not about how many decks are playing zoos it's about how many pure zoos top like yes it's a powerful engine but i don't think that warrants the ban list yet and if you put a ban list out with zoo so new what do you think is going to happen to like, do you think they're going to just hit Zoo straight up? The, at best, they're hitting Invoker, and Zoo's still just so powerful and rampant. Do you want them to hit Zoo already? Uh, are How many people have Zoo decks already that are anticipating three weeks later that they're going to be playing in a UDS? That they've already bought their plane tickets? Let these events play out, and then we can, like, in my opinion, have ban list talks. And, of course, uh, there's always going to be talking about what you would put on the ban list, but this is demanding kind of the ban list here by a lot of people. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Poorly handled. Basically, where is it? And that's the thing. It's just not needed yet, in my opinion. It's been changing. The game has been changing, evolving, changing, evolving. And the only point I would have liked to see a ban list is when we had that longer stretch of Metal Foes. But again, Paleo's Oaks evolved through that era. And that's the only part it started to feel a little repetitive. Like, that's the first chance the format had to go back into the format. When Billy won, he won with the, you know, the Scout Monolith thing. And that had actually been phased out, and then it got brought back. That's And it's cool to see formats go back into themselves, in my opinion. I love to see that evolution. But... I, I do see where people are coming from. I see it's been a long time. I would like to see this card gone. I would like to see that card gone. But honestly, Kieran has been equalized. Utopia, the lightning, <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry, I got excited there. The format is so crazy. Utopia, the lightning, one of the biggest answers to every card is starting to not see play in the decks because it has evolved that much. Pot of Desires, it's evolved past it. Like, it, it's just crazy in my opinion. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we do need a ban list right now? Or would you like to see the, the current events play out through about March 20th and then see one? I know a lot of people are saying it's after Atlanta. It's coming after Atlanta. It's going to happen after Atlanta again. Just But that I, I think they're going to let these current events play out. People have bought flights. People have prepared. People have made travel plans. And they've spent so much on a deck already that having to change right before that. I know as a player, I would be stressed out and I would hate it. So I would personally like to see it then. But... Are, you know, do you think everyone's justified in asking where it is and demanding for it? Or do you think the game is naturally shaped on its own? I personally have enjoyed the change. There's been more change in this game in the past six months, I think, than any other stretch of formats. Like I said, we went from 
we went from ABC structure release to Invasion of Vengeance and Metal Foes slash the power up of Paleozoics. Uh, we went to DDDs. And then we went, uh, you know, that everyone's saying that got too short of a time, but it had a little bit at least. Then we went into Raging Tempest immediately, and now we're into Fusion Enforcers. We're just going into all these cards checking themselves. And yes, Zoo is dominating, but I would like to see it play out more events to where Zoo can get hit. Because I think after those events, even though we've had more time with it and it's not much time by results, that will be five premier events with it, even though three are happening in one weekend. And then I think we can hit Zoo. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, let me think. Let me know what you think, kind of, of everyone else's arguments. I think Sam actually posts one of the most decent arguments in terms of like, uh, I would like to see this like have a set date, but I also think it's kind of wrong, like demanding for it. Like I, I really also think that in the argument of having a set date, that it's actually not healthy for the game. Although it is a lot scarier for the players, guys. And I know being scary for the players versus trusting, you know, Konami is a rough kind of thing. But I think it's better the way it is right now. Thanks for watching. Remember, this is a discussion. Thumbs up it if you enjoyed the discussion. And tell me why you disagree or agree with me in the comment section below.